I seem to have a flurry of swim questions and I'm going to combine two of these together. Uh, I've got one from Linda and I'm just going to kind of read through her question. I've got to put my glasses on now. Uh, they're a little bit crooked. Uh, she said, I can't find a different gear when I'm swimming and I'm kind of losing my form when I try to go faster. What am I doing wrong? And then the second question was from Michael Taylor and it was really kind of the same thing. Should I go out hard in the first 200 to 300 meters of my swim and see if I can get on the feet of the, that faster group? So it really pertains to how to increase your speed economically and, and how do you do that? Uh, both questions have an overlap. If you can do it in workout, you can apply it to the race. So f first off, Linda, your front end on your stroke, you want to make sure that you're getting a high elbow set and you're, and you're keeping your head down at the beginning. So head down, high elbow set to begin with, then you're going to be having good mechanics in that first quarter to half of your stroke. Try varying your tempo and my suggestion is that you do shorter repeats. So for example, I quite often have my athletes do a set of 50s and then a 75, a 50 and then a 100, a 50 then a 125 and I'm going longer than that. So we try to maintain good mechanics on the 50. So I have them look at their time, count their stroke count on the second link. Let's say hypothetically down and back it took them 50 seconds and they took 25 strokes. Try to match that same pace on a 75. So it's a 50 seconds, that's 25 seconds per length. That time would be then a 115. Same stroke mechanics when you're doing this. And then when you're going to 100, same idea, apply the same thing. Stroke count and speed, we wanna to try to maintain, maintain the same economy when we're doing this. If you do shorter repeats, you allow a little more rest in between. And then as you start building your pace up, you can increase the rep distance. But start off with these short ones, maintain the same stroke and speed, and then start varying your speed a little bit. So 50, slightly faster. 75s, maybe a second to two seconds slower than what you're averaging per 25. And the hundreds, fairly close to the 75s. Don't let it drift out too much. I hope that helps. I like doing the shorter repeats. I call them anaerobic endurance. And we do these with a lot of speed with good mechanics. So as you get better, try a set of, for example, 35 meters in and out of the turn, then cruise back 15 meters, and you're doing these flat out. Allow a little more rest at the end. So second question, should I go out fast at the beginning? Obviously, if you're going flat out and you're hypoxic and you're holding your breath, it's gonna really be catastrophic for your race. But the idea, if you can get on someone's feet that's a little bit faster, great idea as far as the uh, discipline that you're going to develop to be able to say, I can ratchet this up a little bit, I'm going to back off, I'm on someone faster. No guarantees. What generally happens on the front end of the swim is that people go out too fast and quite often you have someone who's a little more conservative or you notice them off to your right and left and say, they're going faster than me, I'm going to get on this person's leg. So two thoughts. You need to be very careful in the first two to three hundred meters that you don't overcook yourself. My suggestion for most of the people is to actually be a little more conservative at the outset. 300 meters into it, then start looking around for someone who said, I'm going to do the same thing and they're going to move up, get on that person's feet. So I hope those two ideas help and you can become more economical and more efficient. I'm Dave Scott for Hoop. Thanks much.